Hey guys, we're back here, and today we're unboxing this right here, the Disney Tum Tum induction lamp, which has also inside. Wow! Stay tuned to the end to find out what's inside the box. Of course, inside the box, you already see. Also inside, there's a bit of a stand here, if you can see, and, and you definitely cannot see this, but there's a bit of a wire here. But uh, let's unbox this. I got my scissors right here. Haven't dropped it for once, and uh, let's unbox it. I mean, there's a label here. Yeah, it's just basically a label, and it's just a paper box. This should be easy to open. To open. This is a really simple box, actually. Uh, it's really just. Oh, wow. Let's just take this out. Let's be a really quick video. Uh, hang on, I'm actually gonna break this. Hang on. Let's put this upside down. And there we go. That is very in the box. Box here? Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, here we go. So. Apparently this is an induction light of some sort, and uh, in the bottom here you can see there's some wires. Uh, there's a manual in there. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's take a look at the manual. Oh, but here we go. Let's take a shot. Oh, oh, wow. So I see here's the induction part. This is also. Oh, she doesn't. Wait, well, she's not turning on. But uh, I guess that's what we have to do. We have to charge her, or I don't know if it's charged or something. But let's find out. So it is USB powered right here. It uses USB. So. No 12 volt adapters. That's very convenient. More packaging gone. And here's the charging stand. Very nice. It's a blue stand. Has the Disney Dum Dum logo here. Has like the induction pad here. And has four little rubber feet right here. Let's look at the manual because hmm, it's in Chinese and English. But I'll try to explain it as it goes. So right over here. You can see one, two, three, and four, and one here says five volt USB input, which is where the USB plugs in. Uh, two induction charging station, so this is charging. Three LED indication light, which I see over here. Uh, I'll show you in a bit. But four induction lamp and contains lithium polymer battery, so this is rechargeable. This isn't just induction; it just stays on there. Okay, so so. Okay, 5 volts, 500 MA. When the USB power is connected, the indication light will be blue. Alright, so we need a source. Be right back. Alright, so I've got a power source right here, a little power bank, which should be enough to power this. So, uh, let me actually flip this around. It's weird that the logo is upside down. That's really weird. I just see the lights over here, but the sun logo is right here. That, so that would mean either the wire comes out like this, or uh, the lights upside down. Yeah, this is a really dumb design. This is a really dumb design, actually. Dumb logo placement, but oh well. Let's plug this in, and it. There is no light. Hang on. Blue, red, green. Okay. When the induction lamp is placed in the middle of the induction charging station, the charging process will start. All right. There's no light. When the unit is fully charged, the light will be green. So, if the power is connected, it should be just blue. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Yep, there we go. You can see it. It's blue right here, and there's a little faint highlight of blue right here. So, um, let's look at the back. It's just all right. Let's just start charging. Okay. So, uh, it's actually really soft. Like it's really plushy. Yeah, you look at look at this. It's pretty soft. The plastic itself moves a lot, so it's not hard plastic. So if like you throw this to someone, it will hurt, but not that much. You won't kill someone. Hopefully, don't try this at home. Uh, but if you place this on, let's see what happens. The light, okay. Uh, I turn it back on. It's uh, okay. It's red right now. So, uh, okay. So yeah, it is detecting that it's charging. That's a good thing. Um, when charging, the induction light will switch to dim blue light mode. I don't know if it's on right now. It doesn't look like it's on. For safety reasons, the induction lamp's main light will be off when charging starts. To reactivate the light, just press the on-off button. There are four different on buttons. On first press, the light will be the brightest. On second press, the light will be medium brightness. On third press, the light will be low brightness. On fourth press, the light will be off. 
Okay, so I don't know how long this is gonna take to charge. And usually for electronics that are brand new, I usually would charge overnight. So I don't have time for that. Let me just try it like right now. Okay, so charge it for like one minute. So if I press it once. Oh, there you go. You can see it turns on. And press it again. It should be not as bright, less bright, and it should be off now. And if, of course, turn it on, press it again. But if I put it on the stand, it should just automatically turn off. There we go. Pretty neat. Let me just turn the lights off real quick. Be right back. Oh yeah, you can see there's a little, like... Wait, can you see this right here? Like, there's a little bit of a uh, blue glow, it seems like, when it's charging. When I check it out, it stops. You see this? Okay, so I've turned off all the lights in this room, so... It is pretty dark right now, I'm sorry, but... Right here, it's blue. Pretty nice, actually. Like, the blue glow is... I have really looked at it in person. Yeah, it looks really cute, actually. Holy crap, that's pretty nice. And let's turn it on. Let's see how bright it is. Dang, that's not bad actually. There are some like light splotches like of darkness here, which I don't know if this is the, the manufacturing quality or whatever, but not too shabby. Of course, it's soft right here. There's like air and stuff. It feels like, yeah, it feels like there's air inside and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Uh, the build quality itself, well, it's not crazy high, but it's up to like a Disney toy standard. Oh, wow. Yeah. But the mode itself, it looks pretty good, pretty soft. Some of the harder bits like the feet are hard. The stand itself, uh, the wire is pretty generic. It's not tacky, not anything. It's just really generic Chinese wire. There's a little bit of like memory here. Not that it matters too much. And uh, the print logo is fine. Yeah, but it's just a stand. There's not really much to it. I'm gonna put this back on the stand. Let's just start charging and turn blue. This is a really nice light. Uh, the wire's not short, by the way, because there is a cable tie, and when it's untied, it is quite long. Uh, I don't know how long it is. Let me see if the manual says. Uh, it's, I don't know, like an arm's length. I don't know how long it is, maybe like one meter. But it's pretty high. Pretty cool. But here we go. Anyways, I'll leave the charge overnight, so you get more better pictures later, and let's see how it looks at night. Well, I've had it charged for over 24 hours on 500 milliamps and it's still not fully charged even though it's still somewhat full after the last charge because it was still turning on this is really weird but for this product at least it charges it would be nice to have some sort of indicator on what the current battery level is but oh well can't ask for too much this light right here serves as quite a good reading light actually so i don't read much nowadays but well what i do it's pretty neat it gives a bit of a soft light it's slightly brighter in person but well I really like it and it has very brightness levels as you can see. Top one, middle, least bright and off. And there you go. Now I see nothing. But right here. Very nice. I really like it a lot. And I found that sometimes on the lowest brightness, it's lasted the entire night before. Although on the brightest brightness, I've had last three hours and well the charging dock's not really that reliable as well, so sometimes it finishes charging in like five hours, sometimes in like two minutes, sometimes in half an hour. And there's no battery indicator, I really cannot tell, so I just put it on regardless if it's empty or not, and just let it charge all the way because, who knows? How is this? Well, I haven't seen it yet. This is gonna take forever to charge, but well, thanks so much for watching. Also says like and subscribe right down there. If you also wanna join my Discord server, which you can talk to me about this, link will be below. I bought this in the shop, by the way, so I don't know if you can find it in a online shop like Amazon, but if I do, link will also be below. Anyways, everything's below. Just click whatever. Thanks so much for watching. I get a depth right now. Thank you. Goodbye.